Twitter ads tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can use Twitter ads and how you can use it to target custom audience. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into the video. So to start Twitter ads, what you want to do is come over to this website called ads.twitter.com. Now, once you're over here, all you have to do is select your objective. So if you want to maximize reach for your ads, then you can go ahead and choose that option. Or if you want to have video ads, or if you want to have views on your videos, you can go ahead and choose this option or website clicks or engagement, whichever option you want. Just simply choose your objective and you can move on with the video. So let's just assume that we want to have website clicks. So we want to drive traffic to our website so go ahead and choose this option and click on next now as you can see this is your campaign over here now what you can do here as you can see this is our objective so we want to have clicks on our website we want to drive our traffic to our website and we can name this campaign over here so let's just go ahead and name this campaign so we wrote testing clicks so over here as you can see this is the name of the campaign and then what you have to do is you have to source your fundings so what that basically means is you have to fund your campaign so over here you can choose the credit card options and then you can go ahead and add the amount that you want and over here you can add your total budget as well you can choose the start time and end time of your campaign or let it run however you want or if you want some more options you can go ahead and click on the advanced option over here and over here you can have the pacing of your ads so you have the standard one and then you have the accelerator i recommend choosing the standard option because it's much much slower and it isn't faster and it provides quality campaigns and ads so once you have done that you can go ahead and click on next and over here you have your ad group so over here you basically have to add in the name of your groups so go ahead and enter in the name of your ad group and then over here down below you can add the budget for your ad groups as well and then you have bid strategy over here so what that basically means is that you will have automatically maximize your results at the lowest prices or you can set up a target cost to maintain your cost per click so as you can see we have cost per click so what if we had you know chosen something else what if we had chosen an option for views let's just say that our objective was to get more views on our video then instead of cost per click we will have cost per views and so on and so on different objectives will have different costs so that is what I'm basically trying to say. So go ahead and choose whichever strategy you were most comfortable with. Once you have done that, we can move on with the demographics of this. So in demographic, you have different options. You have the option of targeting different demographics. So you can target a different gender, such as a male or a female. You can target someone within a specific age or age range. And you can even target someone in a specific location. So over here, as you can see, we can choose any gender we want. Let's just go ahead and choose any over here. And then we have age groups we can specify which age group that we want to target or we can target all ages and then we have locations so we can upload a bulk of locations over here such as here we can go ahead and enter in one metro per line examples so zip codes we can enter in different zip codes we can enter in the names of different cities and stuff like that we can enter in names of different countries and once we added them we can go ahead and move on so let's go ahead and add a country name so let's just say so as you can see, we added Singapore. Let's go ahead and add China as well. Let's go ahead and add another country to get three. Let's go ahead and add India. And once you have done that, just simply click on add to campaign. And as you can see over here, we have the following countries added over here and then we can add different languages as well. So English and let's go ahead with Hindi and well, let's go ahead and add Urdu and let's go ahead and add Mandarin or Chinese, I guess. And once we have added these languages, as you can see, it's just as simple as that. Now, ages is set. Now we can go ahead and choose devices. We can choose which device or operating system that we want. We can have iOS, we have Android, we have other mobile apps and stuff like that so if i click on ios we can select the option of which ios to target so let's go ahead and target 14 and above so anyone with an iphone that has an ios within a 14.0 and above will be shown our ads and the same goes with android let's go ahead and click on android pie and above and we have desktop as well over here we have device models we can add target specific companies as well so let's go ahead and click on apple and over here we have different options so we have ipads iphones and ipods and stuff like that we don't need that because we aren't selecting that as you can see it's optional and the carrier is optional as well so let's go ahead and move on over here we have custom audiences so to add custom audiences all you have to do it's completely optional like you don't have to do it but 
it's pretty good so over here you'll basically have to create different listings and options over here so once you have created those options just select them and add them over here now it says it's optional so i'm not going to go ahead and do that and then down below we have targeting features now over here we're basically going to target key features and use these key features to target different audiences so we have keywords we have followers we have interests movies and tvs and events and conversion topics so same as before if you want to add different keywords you can go ahead and add them over here or if you want to add them by bulk just simply click over here and just hashtag and write whatever you want write hashtag cats write hashtag dogs or pets or whatever like you can add them whatever you want and then just simply click on add to campaign and they'll be added over here same with follower lookalikes all you have to do is just simply add them and and enter in the username and then just simply copy paste them or separate them with a coma or stuff like that and then just simply click on add to campaign and they'll be added over here then you can add in different interests over here as you can see we have different options so we have educations gaming and health law science pet technologies like we have different options over here let's go ahead and click on automotives and over here we have different automobiles so we have car culture we have convertibles we have hybrids we have luxury minivans off roads and then we have many many more the same goes with beauty let's go ahead and choose whichever one we want let's go ahead and choose this one it had 2.2 it had 2.6 million global followers global audience size let's choose this one because it has 40 million and we have this one with 40.1 million as well so let's go ahead and choose these three or five because i think these one had more followers so once we have chosen that all we got to do is close them up and as you can see we have all these added over here same goes with movies and tv shows and events like choose whichever one you want and then you have conversion topics and over here you can basically add options over here you can add different conversion topics you can also retarget people who saw or engaged with your posts, which is optional. You can expand your audiences or also target the followers of this person or your Twitter person over here. This is my Twitter handle. So for you, it will be different. And then you have placements over here. You can place Twitter ads in different locations. So you have home timeline. That is going to be a must. You can change that. Then you have profile and search results. So in these two places, your Twitter ad will be placed over here. Then you have Twitter audience platforms. So you have native banners, medium size, and you have different options in which you can change the size and shape of the ad, your format. And then you have the option to Twitter audience platform. You can by expanding on your reach, by expanding your reach to Twitter audience platform, you agree to the terms and services. Let's leave that on. Then you have settings over here. You can add the category in which you want. And then you can even add the website you're trying to promote over here and stuff like that. And then down below, you will have your creatives. Basically, you will have all of your Twitter feeds shown over here. And once you have done that, just simply go ahead and click on next. And over here, you can review your ad campaign over here. Once you think that everything looks perfect, you can go ahead and click on launch campaign or you can save it as draft or exit. Like it, that's pretty simple. It's really easy. So go ahead and do that. So that is it for this video. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications. And having said that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.